you, okay? Yeah. These guys are dead. Okay, get their cell phones, Billy. I might be able to get some information. I'm off the Balkan. Uh, if he was here, he's long gone now. Hey. Why, why did you shoot before I say it was okay? This is a roster. Names on a schedule. He, he could have been reassigned. Okay, well, there is proof that the betrayer met and guarded... You know what, divine... Spinelli? I asked you not to call him that. His name is Dante. Fine. Well, behold. Evidence of Dante's lie of omission. I, I don't... I don't get it. There could be a hundred explanations, you know. I mean, if Brenda never came to town, Dante would have no reason Yeah, but to... Brenda did come to town, and he said he had never met her. I've been above board with my superiors. I registered a conflict of interest when it arose. Well, that in the sauce not going to win you any favors. I didn't take any bribes from you. My no, conduct no. has been above reproach. Yeah, but you, you, they, they, they brought you here to take me down, not to help me duck an attempted murder charge. It was an illegal search. It is better that I brought it up right out front. Instead of sustaining the cost and scrutiny of a trial, only for the charges to get thrown out wait, or the verdict to set aside, I mean... Wait, wait. I want you just to be honest with me for one second. Are you going to get sanctioned because of what you did for me? Having dinner with you is not a criminal act. It's what we had for dessert that could cause the problem. Okay, sleeping with you can be considered to be sinful, but I'm not going to get disbarred. Well, it could get you blacklisted, and we got involved by mutual consent. It's not right that you got to pay for this alone. I talked to Steve. He's going to arrange my shift so I can be available to you. No, no, you don't have to do that. Yes, I do. You and Emma are everything to me, and if I would have lost you in that fire, I don't know. Well, I guess we should be grateful to Lisa that she wanted to play hero, right? Instead of comforting you after your wife and daughter were dead in the fire that she set. The most important thing is that you and Emma are safe. I just, I can't, I can't lean on you. Yes, you can, Robin. No, I can't, no, I can't. It doesn't work that way anymore. Because I'm not even sure why you're offering. Is it out of love or do you feel guilty? You know, I... I don't even know what my life looks like anymore. You know, I, I used to know I could see us. I could see us growing old together and Emma growing up and us always trusting each other. But what you did when you cheated on me, it's like my entire world turned upside down and I just, I don't know what my life is right now. Well, try to picture me in it. Picture yourself getting better. Forgive me. I know I'm going to have to earn your trust. But you have to let me in. I know that you're worried. I can see that you're worried. And I know you're probably beating yourself up for what happened, but... I only have enough strength for one battle, and... If we're going to fix our marriage, if it's even fixable... It's going to have to wait. Give me that. Hey, give me that flask. No, I am supposed to be nursing you back to health, not feeding you Edward Scotch. Good news, I made a full recovery. Tracy will smell it on your breath. That's why God created breath mints. <laughs> you don't even believe in God, okay? And my medical career will be over before it starts. If Tracy finds out that I let you and Ethan even talk me into enabling <gasps> this insanity. Why are you not in bed? Oh, oh my God. I, I just walked in, and, and then he had a weird look on his face. Get him in the wheelchair. And he collapsed. <laughs> Come on, I need something. I'm so thirsty. Sweetheart, you're sweating and your pulse is waiting. Would you get him some water? Why do you push yourself? I have to prove to you that I'm man enough to marry you, Trace. Oh. If, uh, it's time to stop resisting, darling. Come on, don't let this be a dying man's wish. Enough already. 
Uh, bad time there. Uh, what were you about to say, Popsicle? She was about to buy your act and agree to marry you. Ethan! Don't listen to him. He's having a momentary lapse of logic. Luke faked his heart attack. All right, and, and it was just a ruse to win you back, and I made up this big fat lie to try and get him back into your bed. It, I mean, some lies shouldn't be told, some, some cons shouldn't be run, and this is one of them, and it's, it's over. <laughs>